Hi, my name's Neil. I'm from Alltrack. In this video, we're going to show you how to install the Alltrack station on an Orchard Wright V10 wind machine. So to start, just make sure that the, uh, the wind machine is turned off here so it doesn't start. And then you're going to also want to unlock it and just open the hood. And for this installation, you're going to need two tools. You're going to need a crescent wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. The wiring harness that you'll be installing is the V10 wiring harness. And you're going to want, this is a 12 pin connector that goes to the all track station. The wires that hook up, the black wire is your ground. The red and the brown wire hook up to the switch and it gives you power and it also lets you know when the wind machine is in the auto position. Then you have your RPM sensor, which hooks to the Ford V10 RPM sensor. And you have two wires that hook to the auto start to trigger it to start. Anytime you're working on a wind machine, be sure to make sure it's off. And then also you're gonna to wanna to unplug the battery. And that's just to prevent any sort of shorts uh, when you're wiring in the all-track harness. On this model, you have to actually remove the battery to access the RPM sensor. So it's, it's okay to remove both the positive and the negative. And you can just pull that battery out. Now that the wind machine's not gonna start unexpectedly, you can pop in the wiring harness. Now this wiring harness is just a bolt-on device. So it doesn't interact or interfere with any of the sensors or any of the operation of the engine. To start, you wanna put your 12 pin connector near the end of the wind machine. And you wanna wrap the rest of the wires behind any other wires or hoses. Now the Orchard Right controls the auto start through its temperature port. And so what the Alltrack does is it sends the auto start a new temperature. And what this does is this keeps all the protections in place, such as the overspeed sensor, uh, high engine temp, things like that. To do that, you wanna match your blue wire with the black wire. And you wanna match the orange wire with the red temperature probe wire. In the same location, you wanna attach your ground. And this ground is just engine ground, so it can go anywhere where there's an engine connection. The next set of wires go to the switch, and that's where the Alltrack draws power, and it also can sense if your wind machine is in manual, off, or auto mode. So using a crescent wrench, just loosen your switch. Now the pillars we need to access are on the bottom of the switch. The center pillar is your 12 volt power from your battery. And then the bottom left pillar is the auto side of the switch. So the red wire goes to your power. And 
When you're installing this, also make sure that uh, you don't touch any of the metal from the center pillar to any of the other pillars. Uh, so you just want to keep keep those nice and tight, um, especially when you're cinching it down. Then the auto switch. It's your brown wire. Again, just make sure they're not touching, contacts look good. Now we can reinstall the switch. Now that the switch is installed, you wanna pull your RPM sensor through the engine. Just keep it, keep it lined up with some of the other loom and you wanna run it down behind the battery and this is, this is your speed sensor. And you pull this off. There's a little, little latch behind it. And you install the all track wiring harness there and there. And then you wanna zip tie this in line with the other loom all the way up. Once the connectors are attached and the temperature probe is attached, you're going to want to arm your machine. So flip it to automatic and also make sure that your auto start is blinking armed. And you'll see that it says 95 degrees. That means that the all track does not want the auto start to run. If it was going to run, you'd see that that would say 20 degrees and then it would run through its warm up cycle. Um, all the protections are in place. It's just giving it a new temperature. So in the app, we can pull up the app here, go to the wind machine, 519A, and you'll see here that your switch is in the manual position. So it hasn't registered that we turned it to the automatic position yet. There it goes, turn to the automatic position. In the graph, you'll see the red line is your temperature, your blue line is your start temperature, and the green line uh, is RPM. So if we want to test fire this machine, we would change the start and stop temp. I'm going to enter my passcode. I'm going to change my start temperature to above my ambient temperature. And I'm going to change my stop temperature to a few degrees above my start temperature. I'm going to click save. When that information's read, that means that that's been sent to the cloud but it hasn't yet been downloaded by the Alltrack station. So we're gonna step away from the machine and it'll start up here in just a minute. Now you see the start temperature is 100, stop temperature 105 and it's black. So now it's sending the auto start, the temperature to start. Then you're gonna to wanna to wait until you get an RPM reading. Then you know that all of your connections are solid. So there, we have 1268, uh, and the machine says run. We go back out, we'll see the machine is green, which means it's running. Thanks for watching the Alltrack Orchard Drive V10 installation video. If you have any questions or comments, 
please leave us a note or message us directly. 